Hey you, it's Frank again. Welcome to part two of host a static website in Heroku. Add a custom domain to your Heroku app. So guys, as promised, so we're gonna show you today how to add a uh, custom domain to your Heroku app. So this is a guideline that we will be following today. So first of all, we're gonna you know learn how to get a free domain, and secondly, we're gonna go over the Heroku dashboard processes and how to do some settings there. And the thirdly, we're gonna learn a little bit about DNS and how to point your DNS CNAME records, sorry, pointing your Heroku DNS CNAME records to our today's DNS, our domain provider, okay. Uh, with that being said, let's just get started and get excited, okay, good. So. If you want to get a domain uh, for free, there's a place on the internet. It's very awesome. So we're just going to do a quick search here. It's Freenome. So Freenome is a place that we're going to get a free domain from. So search. And I'm going to visit the homepage of Freenome. OK, good. And it's going to show you the page here. You can search for domain. You know, you see a search bar here. But that's not the first step. So first of all, we're going to we're not gonna search for domain first. Instead, we wanna you know go for sign up for an account. So we're gonna, uh, I'm gonna click the sign in here. <coughs> I actually already had an account that is uh, associated with my Google account. So I'm just gonna sign in with my Google account. Sign in and uh, wait three seconds, hopefully, and good, awesome. So now you can actually read it to grab your free domain. So click services and click my domains. Okay, if you see, I already have two domains here for practicing uh, purposes, you know. Uh, so how do you actually get a free domain is click services and click register a new domain. Okay, now you can actually search for a domain. So let's search art work. 2019 since we did a Spectrum project last time, it was kind of art. But you can actually specify any keyword you want, but I'm gonna give the artwork 2019 here just for for the purpose of learning here. So if you see uh, this domain is already taken, you know, you're gonna pay something because it's taken by me. <laughs> so you can you can actually get it. So if you notice these all these domains are kind of weird looking because uh this kind of domains you will rarely see in real life, you know, because it's not the best practice for like branding, you know. But for the purpose of learning, you know, it's kind of enough. So it's like TK, ML, GA, CF, GQ. So this kind of domain I actually never seen before. But anyway, so after signing an account, you can get a domain. So you can just click get it now. Okay, hit the checkout button. It sounds like you're like buying something, but uh, it's it's not gonna cost you anything. So uh, another thing to be aware of is uh, these two buttons here. Uh, do not click, otherwise you won't be able to follow along. So just take my advice for now. Do not click these two buttons. And here you can choose the period, like how long this domain is gonna be free. You can choose like 12 months or like 10 months, it doesn't really matter. So after selected time, you can click continue. Okay, so just fill up some details here. You can give some information, your personal information. And uh, so just click the, I read the, you know, tick the box here and click the complete order. Then you're ready to rumble, yeah. So that's how you actually get a domain. So without any further ado, let's uh, get started. How this actually work is, we need to log into Heroku now. So we finished getting domain, uh, awesome. Then we need to go to Heroku and log into your Heroku dashboard. So I'm gonna log in here. And it's gonna lead you to uh, Heroku dashboard. If you see here, I have a lot of apps, you know, that is running. Uh, not running actually, it's kind of sleeping because uh, I'm using the free tier of Heroku pricing mode. So if you remember, uh, last time I actually, I pushed this app to Heroku. So yours might be different. So hopefully last time you were able to 
uh, push your app to Heroku. So uh, this is my app. Yours might be different. Depends on your situation. So just go look up your app and click the app here. And it's going to lead you to another page. Then click settings. So go to the uh, down area of this page. So you see domains and certificates. So what you want to do is you want to add a domain. So click add domain. So I'm going to go ahead and add the artwork2019.tk. So that is my domain here. Uh, I actually had a domain already. I have three domains now. So I want to add this domain. So artwork2019.tk, save changes. I'm going to add another domain. I'll explain why. I'm going to add www.artwork2019. Dot tk so save changes so why two domains because nowadays you know the the visitors kind of like visiting your your website like artwork 2019.com for example you know that's gonna work but sometimes you wanna you know visit a triple w dot artwork 2019.com you know it's kind of tricky so in order for your website to work like 100 percent uh for the reason of being secure just add two domains, one without triple W, another one with, yeah, okay. Now, how this work is, uh, if you see a, a little uh, suggestion here from Heroku, it says, supply this to your DNS provider for the destination of CNAME or alias records. So, what the heck does that mean? Okay, anyway, so the point here is, this is kind of like your address. So. Heroku needs to understand where to serve your website, like under which custom domain is gonna serve your website. You know, so that that said, you need to provide this record to your DNS provider, so Heroku can go and look up, you know, this records and serve your app under that specific domain. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, uh, you know go ahead and uh, get this done here. So it says you need to set up a CDM record in your DNS provider. So let's go over the a management console here uh, to you know in in Freenome here. So I'm gonna because we're we added this custom domain to Heroku. So I'm gonna click the manage domain here. And next steps you want to click manage Freenome DNS. Okay, because we want to add a CNAME record here. So in the type, you want to select CNAME, then target, you want to provide the Heroku required records. Yeah, so I'm going to click this, copy, and paste it here. Good. Now here, the name is the custom domain that you want to, your app to be showing. So that is uh, artwork. 2019.tk. Okay, so just click save changes. Make sure you do not make any spelling mistakes. Artwork 2019.tk and save changes. Okay, man, the internet is kind of slow here. Okay, now perfect. It says record added successfully. Okay, do not worry here because you you add something and it's, it's showing blank. So, so that, that, that's actually normal, so just don't worry about it. So now we need to add a new record because we have another domain to serve, which is www.artwork2019.tk. So we want to add this, kind of doing the same thing here, just artwork2019.tk, and we want to add the CNAME record and target, which is uh, Heroku specified. So here I'm going to copy and paste it here good save changes okay so that's gonna do all the work guys so you will be able to just in a minute to visit your website in this url but of course uh it's not gonna be that fast so if we are now like visiting this website you know, nothing happens i think so we copy the address here let's go to visit okay now it's nothing, so it doesn't work because it's not a quick. So I will just pause the video and wait for five or ten minutes and go back to see if it works.
now back okay fortunately enough our website is now working so let's head over to the web page here congratulations your Heroku app is now live under the custom domain artwork 2019.tk which is my choice of course okay so that's pretty straightforward guys and uh, hope you enjoyed the video so if you still like not able to see your uh, web page working properly that's because probably because uh, your browser has cache so I would suggest you go ahead and then clear your cache here history just clear recent history and click them and revisit this URL like in an hour maybe 30 minutes I think depends on the propagation of the free gnome DNS you know so anyway so that's for today I hope the video w was useful and uh, you learned something from this and uh, I'll see you next time in the next tutorial okay take care bye